Okay, so we're going to take on this linear equation here. And um, as with all linear equations, the first thing you want to do is look for um, the parts of the equation where you're, you're going to need to apply the distributive property. So right here is one of those type of situations. So I'm going to apply the distributive property. I'm going to distribute that 4 here. Okay, so this is going to be 4 times x. So it'll be 4x minus 4 times 2, and that's 8. Okay, plus 7x equals 9x minus 1. And notice how I rewrite the entire equation. That's the way you want to work, okay, um, step by step by step. All right, it might seem like more work, but actually it's um, it's critical so you don't make a mistake here. All right, so after you've done that, you want to look for opportunities to combine like terms. So here I have 4x and 7x. Now look on the right-hand side of the equation. I don't have any like terms. So let me go ahead and just start working on this left-hand side. I get 4x plus 7x. That is 11x. Okay, I can write that as 11x minus 8 equals 9x minus 1. All right, next, I want to start moving all my variable terms to the left-hand side of the equation and all my numbers to the right. So I'm going to first work on getting rid of this 9x on the right-hand side of the equation. And I'm going to subtract 9x here. So that means i got to subtract it on the left-hand side also. All right, I'm going to add down 11x plus a negative 9x is 2x. And I got negative 8 plus nothing is negative 8 equals, you can see the 9x's go away on the right-hand side of the equation. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And I got negative 1 plus nothing is negative 1. All right, so using the same idea, I'm going to move this negative 8 over to the right-hand side of the equation by adding 8 to both sides. All right, and now I get 2x equals... So this is another area where students mess up. So 2x equals what? Okay, you got to know your integers there. 2x is equal to 7. And now to solve for x, I just simply have to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is equal to 7 halves. And that should be a perfectly acceptable um, answer. 7 halves, you can turn that into a mixed number. And for those of you who are like uh, decimals, you can turn that into a decimal too. All right, so I hope this video helped. Keep working hard and good luck.